Hey everybody, Sean here from Shooty School. Tune Track just released the Stockholm SDX with Superior Drummer 3. Let's check it out. This was recorded at RMV Studios in Sweden, the same place it seems like that they recorded Easy Keys 2. So Tune Track has, has moved their battlefront over there. We'll see where they go next. There's two lead female roles in this project, Lynn the engineer and Josephine the drummer. The sounds are, I, my humble opinion, would be great for just modern popular music. On a few occasions, you run into some really tasteful ringing and the snares and the toms and the presets are really solid foundation to build upon but as you go deeper into the presets you'll start hearing some unique interesting sounds which very well could be the theme of your next song so if you're not just looking for a natural earthy uh, drum kit tone do keep your ear out for the presets later on not only in Lynn's presets, but also in Tune Tracks presets. Josephine gives a songwriter-esque drum performance, as in it's not super flashy, but if you're familiar with the majority of Tune Tracks MIDI catalog, if you spend enough time in it, you'll notice that this is not something you've heard yet just between her pocket and her dynamics. And something that really sticks out about her performance or her writing is that she spends a lot of time with her power hand over on one of the floor toms and some people desire that and if it's you this will be a complete home run the only downside to point out is there's only four full midi songs in this product that's it so let's hear every preset every song not every single midi file though but i do cover the majority of them so you get a really strong vibe of what's in this product and that'll take about nine minutes i'll come back and then we'll cover the five individual drum kits before we get out of here let's check it out
We're going to check out the five separate drum kits. If you go up to the library presets menu, you go down to the bottom where it says drum kits. That's what we're about to check out. And you should know I just took one of Josephine's drum beads and I took the snares and moved them around so we hear different snare articulations. They recorded many ride articulations in this SDX. So I added some ride and gave you some different articulations to hear. And I put a little drum fill at the end so we can kind of get a, a glimpse with one beat on how this whole kit ties together. The pop kit has Gretsch Brooklyn Toms and Kick, Gretsch Keith Carlock Snare, Peisty Master Dark Hats, Traditional Thin Crashes, and a Medium Ride. The Heavy Kit has Tama Star Classic Maple Toms and Kick, Kenny Arnoff Trackmaster Snare, Peisty Master Dark Hats, Traditional Thin Crashes, and Medium Ride. The Rock Kit has Ludwig Vista Light Toms and Kick, Tama Metal Works Snare, Peisty Master Dark Hats and Crashes, and a Medium Ride. The Punchy Kid has Sonar Pro Light Toms and Kick, Benny Greb Snare, Minel Big Apple Dark Hats, Jazz Thin and Medium Crashes, and a Polyphonic Ride. The Tight Kit has Yamaha Recording Custom 2010 Toms and Kick, Paul Liam Snare, Minel Big Apple Dark Hats, Jazz Thin and Medium Crashes, and a Polyphonic Ride. This is Sean from Shooty School. Hope you found this video valuable in your tune track endeavors. I have two tune track themed social and support groups on Facebook and Discord. The links are in the description. Rock on.